It's the most difficult hypothetical 2024 matchup I've ever done. Today on Political Excess, it's going to be Henry Cuellar for the Democrats up against Charlie Baker for the Republicans. This was suggested to me in the comments. There's zero chance this will ever happen. And this is the most difficult map I've ever had to do because Charlie Baker, who is the former governor of Massachusetts, he is an extremely liberal, light Republican. And Henry Cuellar is a U.S. representative from Texas. His district stretches from San Antonio all the way down to the border. He's regarded as a very conservative Democrat. What should happen is Cuellar should run as a Republican. Baker should run as a Democrat. That would make this a little bit easier. So it was extremely difficult to predict how these states would actually vote if these two were representing their given parties. So let's try to dive into this. Safe states are over a 10-point margin, likely at 5 to 10 points. Lean under five points and tilt one point or less. So how would this one go? Well, I'm not going to spend much time on each state. I'm going to just list all the states west coast to east. I'll talk about it a little bit before and a little bit after, but this would definitely scramble the map. It's so very hypothetical that there's going to be a lot of changes. Nobody would accurately be able to predict how this would go. It's so far-fetched to consider how blue states would vote for a very conservative Democrat when they would rather probably vote for the policies of someone like Charlie Baker. What would that do? It's really anyone's guess. So I spent some time thinking about each state. It was really difficult. I made a lot of tweaks. Eventually I said, there's no real good way to do this. And I just said, I'm going to leave it. So let's just quickly go through this. Let's start in Alaska. That will be lean for Henry Cuellar. Hawaii, safe for Cuellar. Up to the West Coast to East Coast. Washington, lean for Cuellar. Oregon, likely for Cuellar. California, safe for Cuellar. Nevada, likely for Cuellar. Idaho, safe for Baker. Utah, likely for Baker. Arizona, likely for Cuellar. Montana, lean for Baker. Wyoming, safe for Baker. Colorado, lean for Cuellar. New Mexico, safe for Cuellar. North and South Dakota, safe for Baker. Nebraska at large, likely for Baker. The 2nd District, lean for Cuellar. The 1st District, lean for Baker. The 3rd District, likely for Baker. Kansas, lean for Baker. Oklahoma, safe for Baker. Texas would be Henry Cuellar's home state, and I have it as a lean for Cuellar. Minnesota, lean for Cuellar. Iowa, lean for Cuellar. Missouri, lean for Baker. Arkansas, safe for Baker. Louisiana, safe for Baker. Back up to Wisconsin. Lean for Cuellar. Illinois will be likely for Cuellar. Michigan, lean for Cuellar. Indiana, lean for Baker. Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, and Alabama, safe for Baker. Florida will be likely for Cuellar. Georgia, likely for Cuellar. South Carolina, lean for Baker. North Carolina, likely for Cuellar. Back over to Ohio, that will be lean for Cuellar. West Virginia, safe for Baker. Maine at large will be tilt for Baker. The first district, that's typically a blue district, but this will be a lean for Baker. The second district, that will be lean for Cuellar. New Hampshire, likely for Baker. Vermont, that will actually be a lean for Baker. Massachusetts, that's Charlie Baker's home state. It's normally blue, but in this matchup, it's a lean for Baker. Connecticut and Rhode Island are also lean for Baker. New York, likely for Cuellar. New Jersey, likely for Cuellar. Delaware, lean for Baker. Maryland, that will be safe for Cuellar. Washington, D.C., safe for Cuellar. Pennsylvania, lean for Cuellar. And finally, the last state is Virginia, and that would be lean for Cuellar. And that would result in 157 electoral votes for Charlie Baker, 381 for Henry Cuellar. Am I satisfied and confident in these ratings? Not a chance. But did I actually put some thought into this and try to not look like I was just throwing darts at the map? Yeah, I did. My general thinking is I think Charlie Baker is a much bigger liability for the Republicans than Henry Cuellar is for the Democrats. Now, I think Charlie Baker, he has executive experience. I think he would be better at running a campaign. Henry Cuellar, a lot of people don't really know who he is. So I'm trying to give Cuellar the benefit of the doubt of actually establishing his name recognition and getting his platform out there. Now, that's another big unknown, is what issues would these candidates run on? That could certainly affect many of these states. If Charlie Baker runs as a liberal Republican, hardly any Trump voters are really going to want to come out for him at all. A lot would cross over, and a lot would stay home. But in some of the wealthier areas, the typical Northeast states, even states like Washington and Oregon, 
you will get some voters that find Charlie Baker to be more in the direction of Republican classic. And you will find some of the Democratic base in some of those states. They would think Cuellar is just too moderate for him and they would stay home and some of them would cross over and vote for Baker. That's why he would be able to win some of these states. Who they pick as the running mates, the national environment, all that is completely unknown and it would be a factor. But this scrambles the map more than anything I've done. Texas flips, Vermont flips, and a bunch of these margins in a lot of these states are completely atypical. You could take a number of different routes in this hypothetical. I almost scrapped it and decided I wasn't going to do it, but I figured, you know, I'm going to just put it out here and see what everybody thinks. I'm actually much more interested to know what other people would come up with for their maps. But I think the deepest blue states like California and New York and Hawaii, the margins would be greatly reduced with Charlie Baker on the ballot, but they're not going to flip. Similarly, in deep red states like Mississippi and Wyoming, those aren't going to be 30-point blowouts for Baker either, but they're just too red to get truly competitive, even with Henry Quayer on the ballot, who is someone that those states might actually find better represents them than Charlie Baker. But I could have went on and on with this. It's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be stressful. So this is the map that I came up with. Let me know in the comments. How do you see this matchup going? Do you see it going in a completely different direction? Or do you actually like a lot of this map? Definitely let me know down below. And on your way out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.